Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to play Floppy and Mule. several reasons. Uh, one, it's, it has two keys. It starts in G and the second half is in D. Uh, two, you can't end on the second half so you have to go back to the first half either to end on um, a part of the A section like I just did or maybe end at the end of the A section. So it would be a 48 bar tune. And the third thing that's odd about this tune is that um, Whereas most old-timey tunes come from Scotland or Ireland, or possibly England, this one actually comes from Ukraine, and its original name was the Daubush Kozak. You can hear a recording of it um, on an album, Ukrainian Village Music, 1928 to 1933, and it was recorded by uh, Ukrainian musicians living around Philadelphia uh, at around that time. It's called the Ukraina Selska Orchestra, and you can hear, it's not exactly the same, but it's very close. The Daubush in the title was an 18th century uh, folk hero from the Carpathians. He was a sort of Robin Hood figure who uh, stole from the rich and gave to the poor. So let's go through the tune, uh, just a basic tune to start with fairly slowly and then we'll look at a few ornaments we put on it. <laughs> So let's look at what you can do with it. Um, I think I would always do a little slide to that B. And I would try and give, uh, don't do all those uh, eighth notes even. Don't do it like that. I think is how, the, how I would do that. So if you're stamping your foot, bum, 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 bum. You can do a, you can slide a first finger up underneath the G. And then we're changing key to uh, D. section and a slide uh, so that the you've got a real disco to start with and by just sliding it up you are uh, evening out that disco Another one. slur into the beginning of the next bar and then bring the bow off. So and then you hammer it down. Um, if you are leading back into the A section. Um, That's 
one good way to do it. So you're climbing up to the B. A more interesting way to get back is this. So we're climbing up from the C sharp. And then we've got fourth and third together, bringing them both down together, and then third and second up together. And that gives us a D7, um, and that leads neatly back into the G. Another thing you can do is you can extend some of these um, uh, opening bars, like... I don't mean actually extending the bar, I mean extending some of the notes. Um, so let's do it one more time, and this time I'll put in some of these little variations and perhaps a bit more syncopation. And one more thing I'm going to do is uh, what I did in, at the beginning. That's called a taters. It's um, a kind of a Nashville shuffle uh, with a, a slide of the first finger. enjoyed this tune. If you want a copy of The Dots, um, then send me an email if you've subscribed. You'll find my email address at the bottom of the description. If you want a copy of the backing track, which I'm using, or indeed any of my backing tracks, then these are available to my level 2 and 3 patrons on Patreon. And it'd be lovely to see some of you there. Hope to see you in the next video.